the holder of knowing. In any city, in any country, step outside of your house. If you have no place of residence, fear not, for you may simply step outside onto any nearby street and begin to walk. Make sure to carefully observe all around you, for without seeing, you can never know. Note the color of the sky and the patterns on the ground. Nothing must escape your view, for everything is important. After a while, you will notice that something is amiss, that all is not right. Maybe the concrete is slightly too black, or the sun is slightly too large, but ultimately the world has ceased to fit seamlessly together. Those whose minds remain undisturbed may continue, but those whose minds begin to ripple as water disturbed by a slight breeze must turn back, or they will ultimately be torn apart in the tempest, for this is but the beginning. The more you see, the more you will realize that the world is flawed, though the illusion of smooth reality returns at the slightest distraction. Quickly you begin to wonder why this illusion exists. Indeed, the more the cracks spread, the more you wonder how it is that no one questions the purpose or existence of the world they have immersed themselves in. And this is where you must see everything, where your ability to notice the smallest details will be most taxed. Fleetingly, within one of those cracks, you will catch a glimpse of something, something that is inconceivable, something that cannot possibly be true. Reach into that crack and grasp what you have perceived. Pull it into view, into your world. The effort will be immense, as the world itself rejects that which cannot happen and resists that which cannot exist. But if you have truly seen through the illusion, you will know how to fit this thing into the cracks of the illusion and bring it into the light. Out of that crack will come a small trinket hanging from a chain. The chain looks to be made from some sort of plain white material, but the closer you look, the more you see that it is actually a rainbow of colors shifting in and out of view. The chain seems long enough to hang around a person's neck, but the most eye-catching portion is the object on the chain. You cannot quite tell what it is, but you examine it all over in an attempt to discern what it is. Its slightly golden sheen seems incomplete, as though the object has been tampered with, yet the more you focus on the object, the less you can know about it, and that is when it happens. You jerk your eye off the trinket, and notice that the illusion is gone. You can see the world in all its harsh reality, a dark and cracked thing filled with vapid souls, blissfully tripping through holes in reality, never to be seen again. And right next to you stands a man in grey, calmly watching you examine the object. He walks up and speaks to you, Hello, Seeker. I see you managed to retrieve the object hidden within everything. This one is my favorite of them all, since it was the only one I had a hand in creating. Of course, he didn't know until I stole it and hid it between the void and our world. But that is a story for another time, as I'm sure you're wondering who exactly I am. Well, first of all, Shouldn't you be wondering how you found this account? I mean, someone had to know how to find all of the objects in the first place. Not to mention that all of these directions are written down so conveniently. Well, there's your answer. I am the one who knows. I put all the details together I set up the big illusion that sets seekers out on the quest to find the objects. I am the one who wants the objects brought together. Didn't you ever wonder why the objects couldn't ever be brought together? Well, the secret lies with this one, the one that I corrupted. This one is the catalyst, the connection, 
the golden object. All it really does is exist, though it was never meant to. But now you know, and knowing only breeds more questions. To those who are reading this story, maybe you know a little more, just enough to begin asking the right questions. The golden object is object 1618 of the 2538.